Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a little bit of an experiment with my solar power setup here. Specifically, I'm just going to be using one of my batteries here. These are roughly 100 amp hour uh, deep cycle batteries. And I'm going to see how long we can run a power tool off of it. Now this might be useful if you wanted to, say, set up a shed and have a small little solar power setup and occasionally maybe run some kind of a table saw or a grinder or something along those lines. And maybe you want to know how long that's going to last. I'm going to try to give you at least a rough approximation of how long something like that might run off of a single deep cycle battery like this. And I will show you the uh, specs of the battery here in a bit. Now before I get too far into this video, I do want to apologize for the audio. There may be some wind noise in the background. I'm going to try to keep that to a minimum. I'm going to do the best I can, but uh, just warn you in advance for that. All right, so I mentioned power tools. This is specifically what we're going to be using this system for. This is a little 10 inch electric chainsaw here, ready to pull eight amps. So roughly 960 watts at 120 volts. I am going to be running this off of a standard modified sine wave inverter. Only a 750 watt inverter, but usually with these tool ratings, the uh, amp rating is kind of high on them and normally they don't pull as much current as they really say that they're going to. But we're gonna see what happens anyway. It's one of the little 750 watt Harbor Freight inverters and you'll see that in a minute. So uh, a little bit of tree trimming work off of the battery power. All right, so this is the battery itself, conveniently with the label upside down so you can't see the specs, but through the magic of editing, I can fix that. So we have a 101 amp hour battery. This is just one of these cheap Everstart Marine ones. It's a group size 24. And I'll go ahead and show you what the current battery voltage is right now. And for future reference here, our battery voltage is at, 13.15. All right, so this will give you a little bit of a look as to how much current we're drawing out of the battery. About 0.7 amps when we don't have any kind of a load. We're pulling something like 40-ish amps out of the battery. Got up to about 45, maybe 50 there. So on the AC side of things, we're looking at pulling around 400 watts continuous, maybe about 700 at the very peak, which isn't uh, too, too high. It's a lot less than the eight amps or 960 watts that the tool is rated for. Now we've been at this for about 45 minutes or so. This is what the no load circuit voltage looks like, about 12 and a half still kind of creeping back up. And this is what the loaded circuit voltage looks like. So around 12 volts, I've seen it dip to around 11.9. So battery's definitely holding this voltage up just fine right now. And just in case anyone was curious, this is what the output of the inverter looks like. We're sitting at around 121 volts with no load on it. So when the saw first kicks in, it does indeed drop the voltage down a little bit. Probably hitting the limits of this power inverter in terms of uh, output power when the saw first kicks in, but that's not too much of a concern. So after about an hour and a half of doing this, we're looking at a loaded voltage of about 11.9 still or so, so we're not doing too bad.
So over three hours later, we've got 12.23 volts left in the battery, which I've got a chart around. Now, according to this, 12.2 volts is still around 60%, which is probably a little bit on the uh, optimistic side. This was, it cut out once, which was probably more to do with the voltage drop in the cheap cabling into the inverter than it was the battery voltage itself being low. But uh, all in all, there's still a bit of power left in this and uh, lasted longer than it needed to, at least for us. So in conclusion of this little experiment, I didn't expect it to do nearly as well as it really did. And I'm quite happy with it. And if you did want to run, you know, power tools or really any other appliance like that off of a small little solar power system, obviously lugging a battery around everywhere might not be the most practical thing like what we did today. It worked out fine for us, but it might not be the best thing for everyone. Though in a stationary application, like I said, if you're trying to build something, that would work out quite well, I think. So that might just give you some idea as to the amount of power that's stored into one of these batteries. And this is a you know, fairly cheap one. These are like 80 to $100, I think, at Walmart. They're not too bad at all. So if you're just trying to build a budget solar system and maybe wanted to run some power tools off of it, I think you'd be just fine trying to do so. So anyway, that's about it for now, guys. Bye.